Ever since Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse graced the silver screen, fans have been patiently waiting to see their favorite Spider-Man 2099, aka Miguel O'Hara, back in action. As we wait for the premiere of Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, Marvel's latest issue of Spider-Man 2099, titled Symbiote Spider-Man 2099, promises a brand new adventure of the web-slinger, and puts him in the crosshairs of his arch-nemesis Venom. The issue promises thrilling action and drama, while Spider-Man tackles the responsibility of Alchemax and his family conflict. So without wasting any time, let's delve into Symbiote Spider-Man 2099. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Venom wreaks havoc. The story starts in Nueva, New York, 2099, where a bunch of rebellious kids are flying their hover car in a no-fly zone. However, their merry ride is short-lived as they come face to face with Venom. The symbiote is being chased by Public Eye Corps, so initially, he takes the bystanders as a shield before mutating his hand as a sledgehammer and knocking them off the hover car. Venom then starts attacking the Corps. He spits Venom at one, instantaneously melting his face. Then he jumps at another cop, and as he's about to slash him, a string of webs constrain him. He looks up, and it's Spider-Man 2099 to the rescue, who instructs the cop to abandon his hoverbike mid-air and webs the symbiote to it. Spidey tries to remind the host Roman, a submariner who raged war against the surface world, that the symbiote is in control and he must overcome it. However, to his appointment, Venom is more formidable than Roman. Spidey then reveals to Venom that if a rider abandons his bike in mid-air, it automatically blows up as a security threat. Subsequently, the bike blows Goes up, hurling Venom into the water from where he escapes to plot his next step. Venom then goes to meet the rest of the troops that have created a flood in the city. However, weakened by the attacks of Spider-Man, Roman is able to overpower Venom and make him leave his body. At Alchemax, Miguel is informed that Kron Stone, the previous host of Venom, has escaped from captivity and is being transported to a hospital. He's also told by Gabriel that Dr. Hibby of Alchemax has been experimenting with a Venom symbiote to replicate the Super Soldier Serum. Escaped from captivity, Kron Stone heads back back to his home, still mangled from the beatdown he received from Miguel. When Miguel confronts Dr. Hibby, he explains that during the experiment, the symbiote mutated and reproduced itself, thus creating two versions of the symbiote, one of which is currently stored at Alchemax. Miguel orders Dr. Hibby to destroy the symbiote. However, later, Lila informs Miguel that Dr. Hibby plans to go behind his back and exact revenge. So Miguel suits up and confronts Dr. Hibby as Spider-Man. Threatened by his presence, Dr. Hibby explains that he's created a version of Venom which is subservient to his wishes, and he unleashes the symbiote to attack Spider-Man. But to his surprise, the symbiote starts talking and takes control over Miguel. Back at Stone's place, Kron Stone is indulging in a relaxing bath when he's interrupted by the Punisher, who's been tracking his apartment and wants to exact revenge for the murder of his family. Punisher pulls a gun on Stone's head, but before he can pull the trigger, Venom takes control over Stone. Punisher empties bullets on Venom, but without any success. He takes cover and jumps off a window onto his hoverbike. Venom follows him and impales Punisher on his bike with sharp tentacles. As Punisher falls off the bike, it explodes, encapsulating Venom in the midst of the explosion. Back at Alchemax, Dr. Hibby inquires about Spider-Man, but to his dismay, the symbiote has taken control. In a chilling voice, it utters, Spider-Man isn't home right now. Will we do? The issue ends here, leaving a nail-biting cliffhanger for the readers. Spider-Man 2099 2.0 the next issue starts with Stone meeting a mysterious figure named Chameleon. Stone asks Chameleon to use his tech and disguise him as Miguel O'Hara so he can infiltrate Alchemax, take over the company, and exact his revenge on Miguel. While Stone is plotting his revenge back at Alchemax, Venom takes over Miguel. Dr. Hibby urges Miguel to take back control, but to his deployment, Venom is not going anywhere. Frightened by his appearance, Dr. Hibby has a stroke, and he expires on the spot. For a moment, it seems Miguel is taking back control, but it's only the start of a tussle between Venom and Miguel. Venom tries to influence Miguel, reminding him of the immense pressure he's under from his father, Victor Stone. Venom tempts Miguel to use his new power to take charge, and he's able to convince Miguel that he won't kill anyone until Miguel commands it. At the entrance of Alchemax, Kron Stone, disguised as Miguel, shakingly enters the facility and nearly blows his cover at the news mentioning him. At the HQ, he's confronted by the head of security, who informs him that Punisher, aka Jake Gallows, has been murdered by Venom. 
When the fake Miguel is asked by the head of security to enable the anti-venom measures, he's taken back and quickly opts against it, and advises the head not to take any action against his orders. Miguel's mother is being confronted by Tyler Stone, who wants Miguel to reinstate him as the CEO of Alchemax. Miguel's mother laughs at his proposal before Kron, disguised as Miguel, enters the room. He's taken aback to see his father, Tyler Stone, but plays it cool. However, before he can continue, Lila, Miguel's trusted aide, exposes that this is not the real Miguel, as his bio readings are inconsistent with Miguel's. Miguel's mother pulls a gun at him and asks him to reveal his true self. Finally, Venom comes out, stating, Fine, you got me, happy? Lila is unable to execute security protocols, because Stone's disguise tech also enables him to alter security protocol. But before he can hurt anyone, the real Miguel enters the room, thus attracting Venom's attention. Venom charges toward Miguel, unaware of the power that Miguel holds within him. But in the midst of this chaos, Lila is still concerned about Miguel's hospitality, stating, Hello Miguel, Kron Stone was disguised as you. Also, your father is here. Shall I make him comfortable while you battle to the death? Kron is shocked to hear that he is Miguel's brother, to which Miguel replies, Oh, I'm way more than that. In fact, let me change my appearance to be more consistent with all I am. I'm Spider-Man 2.0, Miguel utters as he transforms into a symbiote Spider-Man. Symbiote Spider-Man throws Venom to a wall. He's not looking to fight him. He states that there's no need for them to fight, as both of them have a lot in common, as they both hate Tyler Stone. Venom continues that he's willing to kill Tyler for Miguel if he wants it. At this moment, the symbiote starts to cloud Miguel's judgment. Miguel throws Tyler Stone through a window before catching him in midair. However, this is just a vision. The symbiote taunts Miguel that even in fantasy he's too cowardly to kill him. Miguel reminds the symbiote of their arrangement that he won't kill anyone without his wish. The symbiote explains that he's the conviction that Miguel needs to achieve his true potential. As Miguel comes back to his senses, Venom threatens him that if he's against them, Venom will go after his mom and Tyler, but if he joins them, they both could leave right through the gate and no one would be harmed. The symbiote again tries to manipulate Miguel, stating that if he goes with Venom, he could control him. He could be the most powerful creature of Nueva York. No one could dare question his authority, and he could live the life he deserves. The panel ends with Miguel finally giving control to the symbiote and bending towards his will, thus setting off for another symbiote Spider-Man adventure. Adventure. Marvelous Verdict, issues number one and number two of Symbiote Spider-Man perfectly capture the essence of Venom in futuristic Nueva York. The neon-lit ambiance and hover cars set up some really innovative action sequences, and the brilliant artwork perfectly complements the storyline. Characters like Miguel, Kron Stone, Lila, and Miguel's mom show a lot of character development that help the storyline move forward. The interaction between Lila and Miguel especially lends some of the best comedic moments in the comic. The way Venom tries to slowly manipulate Miguel to lend him some control shows the scheme nature of the symbiote. The constant nagging to do what he wishes and to take authority finally results in Miguel losing control, which is almost similar to a Shakespearean tragedy. All in all, the comics set up a solid foundation for future adventures, and it will be interesting to see how symbiote Spider-Man deals with Venom, or if he will become a nuisance to Nueva York. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.